working at Claude Monet for the past week now. It's the best restaurant in the city, and I know everyone here. This is our sous chef, Leo, a perfectionist. This is Corey. He's our barkeep and my new friend. Groceries received. I'm just wondering, with looks such as his, why he still has no luck with the ladies. Oh, fantastic choice. A bottle of lovely champagne for you lovely ladies. My friend and I are going back to my place. Would you like to join us, perhaps? This is Arthur, and he's a real pro when it comes to vegetables. And that's Theodore. Being pranked by him can be a pain, but without him, the kitchen wouldn't be as fun. And this is our waitress, Nancy. She's vegetarian. Sometimes things can be tough for her. Your order, a tender rack of six-month-old lamb, who was probably suckling his mother's milk when he was slaughtered, quite viciously, and then roasted. I hope you enjoy your meal. And this beautiful woman right here is Vicky. Sorry, I mean Victoria. She's a restaurant's artistic director. Yeah, I must admit there's some tension in our relationship. And this man is our head chef. At first glance, he seems like a man who hates everything and everyone around him. Which one of you stupid chefs decided to julienne peppers for a ratatouille? Which in fact is completely accurate. I think I'm going to fit in fine with this team. Good afternoon, staff. This is Victor, remember? It's about my license. How could they decide to revoke it if I never went to court in the first place? That's impossible. Wait, who? Did you say Basil? Hang on, he told me to call you. Uh-huh. Chef, here. What is that? A goose. Really? I thought it was a cam. Well, we got a banquet today. So what, is he invited? Where in the world would I need a live goose in the kitchen? But, but the supplier said you wanted the meat to be as fresh as possible. Basil, hello there. It's Victor. I'm calling about my driver's license. So I need to talk to Stan? Well, he's standing right here. Yes. He's saying you're going to help me. All right, I'll be waiting. Good morning, chef. What are we doing today? Go and load the groceries. Chef, I'm not a helper, I'm a cook. I've been unloading and cleaning things for a week, and that's not why I came here. I want to cook. Besides, I've unloaded everything. All right, then. You can kill the goose. Seriously? Whack this goose so that we can serve him at today's banquet. You want me to kill it? Why, do you plan to carve him while he's still alive? Or do you think that meat grows in pieces on meat trees? Every chef must be prepared to kill. Kill the goose, Max. Kill it! 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 Huh, kill the goose. That's easy to say, but I've never killed anything. And this one looks like my uncle. I've already explained this to you. I can't let her leave right now. We have to wait for the right moment. Vincent, I've heard that for two years. It's over. I told you that a week ago. Are you seeing someone new? Maybe I am. Does he work here? <laughs> Why do you care? You've got your wife and your children. I'll find out and chop his head off. <laughs> Victoria, I trust you. Make sure the banquet is up to stand. Yes. I'll go and check everything right now. Damn it. I cook foie gras every single day, and yet I have to eat pasta with meatballs. As my one-legged captain used to tell me, just be happy that you're eating and not being eaten. Just the pasta for me. Why don't you eat meat, sweetheart? Because I'm vegetarian. Are you serious? A vegetarian? I always thought that you were Hungarian. Vegetarians are people who don't eat meat. Mm. That means back in the 90s I was a vegetarian too. I had no money so I only ate potatoes. I don't eat any meat at all. 
Um, I think it's unacceptable to kill animals so people can eat them. I bet you that was a lovely cow which had a little calf, whom she loved very much. They grazed in a meadow in love and harmony, and then people came. And then they slit her throat and used her body to make those succulent meatballs. Then they took her poor calf away from her and roasted it over a bonfire. Oh my, your story made my mouth water. Is there no other way? What if I just pay them? Uh-huh. What? How much? Buying a new license would be cheaper. Well, no means no. Thank you for your help anyway. Yes? Chef, you're needed in, in the dining area. Over there is our dance floor, if you need one. And the bar is over there. Oh, here's our head chef, Victor. This is Elvira, our special guest. She's the hostess of tonight's banquet. Ah, oh, happy birthday. Thank you. How can I be of service? Chef, I would like you to serve some traditional Tatar chak chak for dessert at the party tonight. Uh, in that case, shall we also replace French baguettes with Tatar rochpoch mak and uh, serve chorba as the main course? I'm afraid not everyone will like that. Mm. I just want the chak chak. Just do it. I can't do it. Wanna try? No way. I can't do it either. This is insane. It's not. I saw it in a movie. Come on, drop it. Damn it. We blew a fuse. Do you think that we finished him off? It says here that they've got a very weak cardiovascular system. So we should scare him. That'll probably do the job. On the count of three. We'll turn around and shout at him. Yeah. One, one, two, two, three. Yeah! Moron! Don't you have jobs to do? Get back to work for Corey, I got it. I need a killer. A professional who won't hesitate. Come with me. All right, stay here for now. Ainira, help me kill the goose. Twenty dollars, and you won't see it, not never. Do you mean forever? Ah, yes, forever. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Let's have a chat. Yeah? You work with Victoria, right? Victoria Goncharo. I need to know the name of the chap she's been dating. Well, are you mute? But why on earth would I give you that info? <clears throat> what? If you don't answer me now, you'll answer my questions at the prosecutor's office. You got it? Okay, okay. Well, as far as I know, Victoria's not dating anyone from here. That better be true. I wonder who's gonna get killed first? Me or the goose? Stick that chuck chuck into you know where. This is a French restaurant. Don't you understand what kind of people are coming? Since she's a judge, I doubt that she'll have plumbers as guests. It's not wise to argue with her. Which court does she work at? I don't remember. I think the district court. Louis! You're making chuck chuck for tonight's banquet. Did you just say chuck pack? Louis, listen to me. There will be no further discussion. If I want chuck chuck, you'll make chuck chuck. Don't try to argue with me. Is that understood? Imbecile. He's nuts. Only Chef Victor and Corey know that I slept with Victoria. I should tell Corey to keep his mouth shut and pretend he doesn't know anything. He was the most talented rookie I've ever known my entire life. Sleep in peace. For sleeping with another man's girlfriend.
What did you have to tell him? Now I'm dead meat. Tell who? The dude who left. What did he ask? Relax. He asked where the toilet was. Come here. Here you go, madam. Tuck tuck from our pastry chef. Try it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, chef. And I really appreciate that you altered your menu for me. Don't mention it. It is my sworn duty to satisfy my client's culinary whimsies. <laughs> uh oh, by the way, what do you do? Well, my job is not as interesting as yours. I'm a judge. Is that so? Mm -hmm. No way. <gasps> I'm surprised that you and I didn't meet yesterday. Why? What do you mean? Well, my license got revoked. I don't think we would have met anyway. You can't be from the district court. It'll be a coincidence if you are. <laughs> Actually, Chef, I am. I work at the district court, if you can imagine that. No, you're kidding me, right? No, I'm not kidding. Please tell me your surname. Baranov. Victor Baranov. Well, I was the one who passed a verdict on your case. And you didn't even bother to come to court, did you? Well, I was busy preparing your banquet. Maybe there's still a way to fix things. I'd appreciate it. Hmm, sorry. You drove into the opposite lane and knocked down a traffic light. I have an excuse. I was so drunk. Just be thankful that your license has been revoked only for a year. Well, of course. Thank you so much. You know, your chak chak is a bit unusual. I should order some from a tried and tested place. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> Hello? It's you again. Hey, that guy who you had an argument with. My personal life is none of your concern. Yeah, sure. That's what I was trying to tell you. The thing that, that happened between us, you know what I mean. I think that it's best if he doesn't know. Or he might get upset and blow things out of proportion. You get me, right? Are you afraid I might tell him? Afraid? <laughs> yeah, right. Tell him if you want, I don't care. And besides, what we did wasn't sex. Yeah? You think it wasn't? Vincent. You asked me if I had someone else. Well, here he is. My dear Max. You think I can't see it? She just wants me to get angry, that's all. I mean no offense, dude. But I think that a dumbass like you is definitely not her time. I'm absolutely sure. Do you want a drink? Uh, no, but thanks. Well, suit yourself. Where is it? Where's your goose? One moment. Oh, damn it. He was right here. Oh, how stupid of you. Why did you leave it there? The garbage truck must have taken it. Don't panic, Max. At least now you don't have to kill a creature. All you need to do is find some goose meat. Nynira, where's the market? Just be thankful your license has been revoked only for a year. What a snake. I'll show you who you're messing with. Go on now. Theodore. Yes, Chef. Go to the pharmacy. I got you, Chef. One classic. Hey, rookie. Where's the goose? Uh, I just killed the shit out of him. Then why are you so clean? You didn't get a drop of blood on yourself. I didn't slit its throat. Instead, I strangled it. That's gruesome. All right then, Othello, bring your Desdemona to the sous chef. Leo, you need to start preparing the goose. It's almost time. Got it, chef. Meanwhile, I'll take care of the chef's complimentary dish. Vicky, we need to talk. 
I just told you everything. Don't be like that. You know how I feel about you. Honey. Vincent? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was discussing the banquet with Victoria. Mm. This is my wife, Elvira. Darling, I'd like you to meet Victoria. You know, actually, we've already met. Victoria has been helping me out. I can't thank her enough. I'm so glad you suggested this place for my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> you really are the best, honey. <sighs> Why is the goose so small? Uh, it just looked big because of the feathers. I was surprised when I was plucking it. Here, chef. It's something new. Just one pill, and the client won't get further than three meters from the toilet. It's time to wish the celebrant a happy birthday. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? Uh, could you come with me for a second? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Look! Wow! Look, it's a goose! Well, that's why I called you here. Thank you very much. Why don't you go back? If I see anything interesting, I'll make sure to call you too. Mm -hmm. It's all right, just keep going. Damn it, I knew someone would find you here. Come, I'll hide you somewhere else. Don't worry. As soon as my shift's over, I'll set you free. Just stay there. And be quiet. I'd like to make a toast to the woman I love. My beloved wife. My darling, I wish you good health, because everything else will come as thank you gifts from others. <laughs> yes, darling, I'd like you to keep in mind that no matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Uh, Here's to the best woman in the world. To the woman I love. Cheers! 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 Oh, hello there. Good evening. Uh, even though you and I failed to reach an understanding earlier today, I still wanted to prepare a surprise. Here's a complimentary dish. Consider it a birthday present from me. Thank you so much. The food is so delicious. You know, I can see that you're, uh... Quite responsible and decent person. I think that I might actually be able to help you. Give me a call tomorrow. Hmm, uh, it's delicious. <laughs> Whoa, wait, let me taste it. Just a quick quality check. Hmm, hmm. There's too much pepper. Right. Sadie, uh, take this back to the kitchen. All right, I'll make new ones and bring them here. <laughs> I think they're tasty. <laughs> Excuse me, waiter. May I have more water? I'll be right back. It's like I'm in a soap opera. He loves you, but he loves his wife more. <laughs> you are such a jerk. <laughs> Listen, Vicky. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. That wasn't... My intention. Get your hands off me. Why am I always attracted to assholes? I just broke up with one jerk, and immediately I met another one on the same night. Look, everyone makes mistakes. I really shouldn't have tried to sneak out that morning. I was... No, that was all my fault. I shouldn't have slept with you. Hey! Oh, you f Vincent. So what you said was true, huh? You got involved with that schmuck? 
You are such a scat. Hey, watch what you're saying. That's no way to talk to a lady. Take it back. What did you say? You better leave her alone. What did you say? Are you insane? Have you completely lost your minds, chef? Ma'am, shall I serve the goose now? Vincent, put the gun away! Wait, your trousers! Put them on! Your trousers! He's gone insane! Somebody please stop him! Is this my goose? Uh-huh. You murderer! What a banquet this is turning out to be. I miss the action. Let me go! I'm so sorry. My Vincent can't hold his liquor at all. But don't you worry, that wasn't a real gun. It was only a rubber bullet one, yeah. I remember he fired it at my last birthday party, too. Ah, here, take this, chef. Compensation for your staff for the trouble we've caused. And don't forget to call me tomorrow. Got it, I will. <laughs> All right, let's look back on your first week here, shall we? On your first day, you almost poisoned a guest. On the second day, you fought with our barkeep and trashed the bar. And then I found out you played hide the sausage with Victoria. But... but... And then today, you almost got yourself shot. It looks like you are a good fit for our team. Let's go. All right, rookie. We now officially welcome you to our kitchen. On your knees. And so from now until eternity, like the others, you are part of our sacred kitchen. In the name of the oven, the pots and the pans. In the name of the baking tray and the frying pan. And in the name of the holy ladle. Amulet. Life is a collection of gains and losses. Some people are mourning their losses. while others are celebrating their games. <laughs> and then there are those who gain from their losses. I lost, but I lost all of them. And I've been searching in the night, and I've been searching in the rain. I tried to find them, but they disappeared. They walked away, they dressed in black. They so, Chef, you're not even gonna punish me? Was this not enough for you? You're the first person to ever undergo this ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> It was a fun thing to do, wasn't it? <laughs> you should all be initiated the same way. Come, Arthur, you're no. next. No. Hey, guys, Leo. No matter what happens, always keep in mind that this is just the beginning. <laughs>